year is 1944. For the last 12 months, things are not going well for the Germans. They are facing a serious issue. Allied counteroffensive is coming from all directions. The advance is swift and brutal. For an army that once reached 7 million men, possible salvation lies in a completely new type of warfare. A ballistic warfare. Due to major losses on the Eastern Front and general lack of manpower, German High Command is secretly developing a very powerful weapon. The V-2 rocket. This will be the first long-range guided ballistic missile. It will not change the outcome of World War II, but it will pave the way for the upcoming rocket race that will occur in the next 40 years. The A-4 rocket, formerly known as the V-2 since 1943, represents a product of more than 20 years of work, experiments and tests. It was designed by a brilliant scientist Wernher von Braun with his group of engineers. After the war, he will work for the Americans and he'll be involved into space program. He will even design Saturn V, known for its launch into space in 1956. This 12.5 tons beast is powered by a liquid propellant rocket engine. The rockets traveled at supersonic speed, impacted without audible warning, unlike its predecessor V1, also known as the buzz bomb. Since there was no warning, and the rockets had a 300 km operational range, it's possible to understand what kind of psychological effect this rocket had on the bordering countries. The vengeance weapon how Germans used to call V-2s, was firstly launched on Paris, then Antwerp and London. Some 1,050 of these found its path to Londoners. More than 1,600 were shot at Antwerp, and around 70 on France. At least 7,000 men and women died of the V-2s in London. The V-2 is known for one more thing. It will be the first artificial object to travel into space by crossing the Kármán line. More than 3,000 V-2s were launched by the Wehrmacht against Allied targets. With a length of 14 meters and a diameter of almost 2 meters, this gigantic rocket stored a warhead weighing almost 1,000 kilograms or 2.2 thousand pounds. Since they were unstoppable, the only reasonable solution for destroying these terrifying unmanned objects is to liquidate the launching sites. But the Germans were clever and they knew how to hide their launching sites. No matter how Germans used V-2s, or how much damage they inflicted, the defeat is inevitable. The German army is exhausted. Rockets and bombs still cannot replace manpower. As the war drew to a close, both sides raced to seize major German manufacturing facilities. Another war is coming, an armament war, and it is far from over. And that is how V-2 rocket changed the world.